we're going to try a new approach. The way I set this garden up is got uh, railroad ties. Put some ground killer and stuff along the outside of the railroad ties to kind of control the trash grass and stuff. Bermuda, you know, that wants to grow in. <clears throat> I've got some dogs. They like vegetables. The last couple of years that we've put the gardens in, they uh, they like to get in there and eat all the veggies. So we put up an electric fence this year. That's a new construction room that I'm adding on where I can germinate some of my own plants. Not have to buy seeds anymore from the local nurseries and Walmart. The garden itself is, I don't know, roughly 30 feet by maybe 20 feet. It's a good sized garden. It's only been up here for a couple of years now. The soil isn't really all that great. First year we really tried to get the grass under control. This was all a big patch of Bermuda at the beginning. But uh, we've got the majority of it out. We're still weeding out some of the rocks and stuff. I'm sure as you see we've still got some Bermuda that we're trying to get rid of. But I think we should have that under control within the next year or two. We shouldn't see any more of that. We're going to take a new approach this year on the garden. <clears throat> we're going to uh, use a gardening fabric to try to knock the sunlight off of it. Cut some holes in it for our plants to be. Hopefully they'll keep some of the water in. We're going to put some uh, rows of mulch in between the garden fabric. Hopefully that'll make my, my weeding life a little bit easier than trying to take care of this whole patch of dirt by myself. I'm not exactly sure where we're going to get started. I know we're going to do some tomatoes and some onions this year. Possibly some green beans, but uh, we'll find out here in just a little bit. 